Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, it's Carl here from lunchboxsessions.com. The topic of this video is the choke section on this solenoid-controlled, pilot-operated, directional control valve. This type of valve is also referred to as a two-stage valve. To learn more about the normal functioning of this upper pilot section or master and this lower main section or slave, refer to our video with the title Solenoid Controlled Pilot Operated Directional Control Valve. Here in the choke section, we have two flow controls, each featuring a check valve and a variable orifice. And as we move over to the cutaway, we see a threaded screw on each end where a tool can be used to change the amount of orifice opening. Probably the most common error made when encountering the chokes for the first time is to believe that they are there to control the final speed of the hydraulic cylinder or motor that is connected to the A and B main work ports. Well, that is simply not the case, but these flow controls are there to allow us to control the rate of speed of the movement of the main valve spool in the lower section of the valve. Right now, I'll operate the left solenoid on the pilot section, and we'll see that that moves our main valve spool to the left very quickly. When I turn off the solenoids, we find out that the valve returns to center very quickly thanks to the centering springs in the main section. Operating the right solenoid, the valve spool moves to the right very quickly, introducing a very large flow from P to A port, which may cause some mechanical stresses and a pressure spike as that large flow is introduced perhaps to a hydraulic motor on a machine that is at a standstill. So to minimize the blow, to soften the possibility of pressure spikes and mechanical stresses, the flow controls in the choke section are there to allow us to move the main section spool more slowly. So I'm going to tighten up and adjust the left choke. I'm going to tighten that orifice quite small and we'll do the same for the one on the right. And let's see what happens to the speed of spool travel now when I operate the left solenoid. We see that the spool travels to the left more slowly, introducing the pump's flow and the pressure to the B line where perhaps we've got some very hard work to do with the hydraulic motor, introduces that flow and pressure more gradually. Returning to center, we also have some slower motion. And of course, same holds true as we open up for the P to A flow. So that is the basic function of those pilot chokes. What you see in this choke section is set up as meter out, if you know what that means. Sometimes the check valves are turned around the other way, which makes it a meter in choke section, which then only really gives you control over the opening up of the valve, P to A or P to B, but makes the valve recenter very quickly. Meter out tends to be the more common scenario, and that is what is shown here. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.